Hello everyone, here today we have my promised review of the Acorn Electron I purchased for the princely sum of £28 and for that I got the Electron itself boxed with introductory cassette, two copies of that, user's guide start programming with the Electron a horribly grafted uh, tape cable but it's alright, I have one of those already Some other literature stuff that's not important and some games which I'll be showing some of you some of them to you today we're looking at the unit itself now it's very small compared to the BBC Micro um, expansion options were very very limited if you take a look at the back here you've got this edge connector which is the only expansion port on the Electron. Ele uh, Acorn uh, rather quickly released the plus one interface which gave you an analog joystick port like you found on the Beeb and two cartridge ports and then later on they released the plus three which had a built-in floppy disk drive and there were a slew of upgrades released by third-party companies such as the Slogger Turbo Board which made it run at the full speed of a BBC Micro um, Slogger RAM board which brought it up to I think 64k and a whole lot of other stuff and also like standard third party joystick interfaces like you've got on the Spectrum now they've got the manual here, it's in very good condition rather thick actually all this random stuff that uh, I'm not intelligent enough to comprehend a lot of it and you've got the introductory cassette with some rather nasty looking mould I used to think it's mould. Yeah. I'll be showing you some of that shortly. Back onto the unit. Very nice feeling uh, full travel typewriter style keyboard. On the side here we've got uh, what have we got? Television. Monitor which I think is black and white though. Somebody said that it was colour as well. RGB monitor and cassette which I have over there. It did come with one but that doesn't work. But anyway. Let's go moving on. Okay this is the introductory tape. I tried it with the um, composite output. You see here but it was in black and white. Very good picture quality though. But anyway. Press space to continue. And that's coming from the Electron's built-in speaker. You know, it doesn't look as bad on this camera screen, but trust me, it's quite blurry around the edges. So like you've got like a whole motion, if, if motion blur effect. You've got fuzzy white here and here, here etc. So yeah, it's not great, but it's better than black and white. Welcome to the Acorn Electron. This cassette contains 15 programs, of which this is the first. Each program is identified by its program name. The program name should also give you an idea of what the program does. Press the spacebar to continue. The programs are Intro, Keyboard, Sketch, Piano, Dodgems, Biorhythms, Clock, Gomuku, Message, Patterns, Mars, Lander, Bugs App, Island, Planet, and Bye. To leave any one program, just press Escape. Try it now. Yeah, um, the one we just watched was intro. The only ones I've tried are patterns, which is like those weird geometric shapes and stuff on the screen, which I don't really Acorn were quite fond of. Um, and I wanted to try planets because I tried it on an emulator before, and it's sort of like a, um, like, a few planets in a solar system. Um, they're all rotating, sort of like a tactical type display, got things going around. Still very nice, but uh, both of my tapes that I've got for it sort of can't with load errors in the middle of it, so unfortunately I can't show you it, but I will show you some games. Okay, the first game I'm going to show you is Starship Command. 
And this is probably my, my favourite game that I've gotten it so far. And considering that it's in black and white, I'm going to be using the composite out. But Steve Bentley reviewed this one, and uh, he recommends it personally as a game to go for. Um, it was this was part of the standard packing set, so um, if you're thinking of buying an Electron, always try to get the original packing kit with it because it comes with a few, few decent games, such as this one. And that beeping noise was the Acons off loader starting up. Good thing about the Electron is when you load a program, uh, it will come up and show you this for example, it will say load. normally that will be the program name and then that shows you the, um, well, I don't know, I just call it bits of information that it's loaded um, and if there's an error it will say uh, load error and it will stop or um, it will say like data question mark 9, 10, 11 which means it can't understand what's recorded on it for some reason so if there's an error you'll know about it and you won't find out at the end when the program doesn't load as with a lot of 8-bit computers Starship Command an arcade game on cassette for the Acorn Electron Command a starship against the attacking alien ships in this demanding high resolution graphics game it's probably why it's black and white you control the forward drive and sideways thrust of your ship which is equipped with shields, a long and short range scanners and a set to display of the stars and alien ships. This game is fully compatible with the keyboard or joysticks when available. <laughs> yeah. And it includes a table of high scores and instruction booklet is included in the pack. And the Acorn Soft always did rather nice boxes for their games from what I've seen. And you've got the instruction manual on the inside there I can't be asked to get it out. Uh, author of the game was Peter J. M. Irvin. Yeah, huzzah to you for making such a good game. Loading instructions, yeah. What's the most weirdest loading command I've ever seen of an 8-bit computer? Chain. Most of them just have load. Which is understandable, but where the hell do they get chain from? Anyway. Hopefully it will load in, in a minute. But with YouTube's new 15 minute time limit, I suppose I won't have to edit it so much. Most games tend to, to load a little bit quicker than this. Because they use like speed loaders, etc. Okay, now this is the title screen of Starship Command. The frontiers of space are frequently penetrated by hostile alien ships. These are tackled by battle starships, the command of which is given to deserving captains from the Starfleet. To begin your first command, press return. A little pseudo 3D spinning planet. Enemy torpedo is large, otherwise they look like stars. Keyboard control, obviously because I haven't got a joystick. So you can see it. No, that looks fine. And as you can see, the in, rather than the starship moving, as is with standard with most games, the screen moves around the ship, which is sort of cool, and I'm not paying attention and getting blown up. Yeah, one of my energy bars is almost gone. Once all those energy bars are up, my shields fail, and I'll get blown up. Which is why we have escape pods.
And I'm almost dead already. That annoying beeping noise is the alert, alert noise. Come on, let's see what I can do. Hmm, I didn't get off my space pod in time. The effects are pretty good. Apologies if you can hear munching going when I'm eating my lunch. Let's try again and, and uh, do it a little bit better this time, hopefully. into come on have a go Because this has only got one sound channel, if any other sound effects are going on in the background and then another one goes off, they are muted. Which isn't so bad, three virtual channels. It's effectively a beeper, sort of similar to the Spectrums, but um, it has a lot better sound quality to it. And a more wide variety of sounds. Oh dear. That's not good. Got off my escape pod though. Starfleet's not going to be happy with a score of 28. Bloody kamikazes. Escape capture was launched and returned safely from the combat zone. Your official combat experience rating is now recorded as 28. After your performance on this command, the Starfleet authorities are said to be disappointed or displeased. And they retire you from active service. Yeah. Really good game though. So, I recommend you give it a go if either you've got an electron or you do emulation and stuff.